Tasha Dalek. Welcome to our new video where we will be explaining what the new Kadampa tradition is and addressing questions like who is Dorje Shukden? Is it an evil spirit or a Buddhist protector deity? Additionally, we will discuss Kelsen Gyatso and why his followers openly oppose the Dalai Lama. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Your support is immensely valuable to us and enables us to provide you with even more educational content. Let's get started. What is the new Kadampa tradition? The new Kadampa tradition, or International Kadampa Buddhist Union, is a global non-profit organization founded by Kelsan Gyatse in England in 1991. The NKT is considered one of the largest and fast-growing Tibetan Buddhist organizations in the world. The NKT has become almost synonymous for scholars and practitioners of Tibetan Buddhism with the anti-Dalai Lama group for its involvement in conflict between Dorje Shukden and Geluk protector deity dating to the 15th century and the Dalai Lama, who banned Shukden practice in all central Tibetan administration institutions and monasteries in 1996. The NKT describes itself as an entirely independent Buddhist tradition that draws inspiration and guidance from the ancient Kadampa Buddhist masters and Jetson Kappa, founder of the Gelugpa school of Tibetan Buddhism. Jetson Kappa himself referred to his monastic order as the new Kadamb, the term Geluk came into use only after his death. The Kadampa school of Tibetan Buddhism founded by the great Bengali master Atisha in the 11th century, emphasized compassion, pure discipline, and study. The most prominent teaching of his tradition were the graduated teachings of the Mahayana path known as Lojong, mind training, and Lamrim, stages of the path. However, with the emergence of the new Tibetan Buddhist schools such as Sakya and Giluk, the Kadampa school ceased to exist as an independent entity. Its monasteries, lineages, and traditions were assimilated into all major schools of Tibetan Buddhism. The founder of the NKT is Kelsang Gyatso. Born in Western Tibet as Lapsang Chupompa, he became a monk age 8, taking the monastic name Kelsang Gyatso, and went on the study at Sera one of the great monasteries of Tibet's dominant Giluk school. He was trained in the traditional method of intense scholastic study and debate, and he studied for a Geshe degree, an advanced distinction in Buddhist scholarship. After living in Tibet in 1959, Kelsang Gyatso taught and engaged in retreats in India for over 18 years. His Rinpoche was Trijan Rinpoche, who also happened to be the junior tutor of the 14th Dalai Lama. Trijan Rinpoche asked Kelsang Gyatso to be the resident teacher at Manjushri Institute in England. Kelsang Gyatso taught the general program at Manjushri Institute from 1976 to 1987. In 1987, Kelsang Gyatso entered a three-year retreat in Scotland. During his retreat, he wrote five books and established the foundation of the NKT. Kelsang Gyatso wanted to ensure that people do not simply study Tibetan Buddhism from an academic point of view, but learn how to extend this knowledge through meditation and practical Buddhist experience. In 1998, Kelsang Gyatso stated in an interview, We are pure Gelukpas. The name Gelukpa doesn't matter, but we believe we are following the pure tradition of Jetsan Kappa. We are studying and practicing Lama Tsangkapa's teachings, and taking as our example what the ancient Kadampa Lamas and Geshes did. All the books that I had written are commentaries on Lama Tsangkapa's teachings. We try our best to follow the example of the ancient Kadampa tradition and use the name Kadampa to remind people the practice purely. The NKT teachings are based exclusively on the teachings and published works of Kelsan Gyatso. Kelsan Gyatso's decision to split off from the Tibetan Buddhist establishment and create a new tradition was in fact the culmination of an old conflict about a protector deity associated with the Geluk school named Dorje Shukden. Why the new Kadampa tradition openly opposing the Dalai Lama? It's all because of Dorje Shukden. Who is Dorje Shukden? Dorje Shukden is a protection deity associated with the Geluk school of Tibetan Buddhism. He comes from all direction in order to protect his worshippers, to fulfill wishes, to purify the Dharma. His character is fierce and violent and he destroys all enemies. Animals are sacrificed to him symbolically. He adopts in full of skeletons and human skulls. Weapons surround him and the blood of men and horses form a lake. His body has a dark red color. There is a tale concerning the reincarnation of Dorje Shukden. 
in the upper residence of the second Dalai Lama at Drepun Monastery in Tibet. There resided a Tulku named Drakpa Gyaltsen, who was recognized as the incarnation of Panchen Sonam Drakpa, a disciple of the second Dalai Lama. Due to his wisdom, Tulku Drapa Gyaltsen gained a significant number of followers, which aroused jealousy among both the Dalai Lama's household and his followers. Some government officials associated with the Dalai Lama, including the Rajan, decided to assassinate Tulku Drakpa Gyaltsen. Various accounts exist regarding the circumstances of his death. Before his passing, his main disciple asked Tulku Drakpa Gyaltsen not to leave the world but to come back in proper form and take revenge on his enemies. All sorts of misfortune happened to the Tibetan government, and even the Dalai Lama suffered. Nobody could stop this evil spirit or bind him. When the Tibetan government realized that the spirit could not be subdued, they requested him to cooperate and, instead of causing harm, to become a protector of the Gelugpa sect. The spirit of the Tulku Drakpa Gyaltsen agreed and became Shugden, the protection deity. The whole controversy focuses on the interpretation of the status of Shugden. The problem is that he seems to be an evil spirit causing harm to the monastic institutions and the Dalai Lamas, but at the same time he is regarded as a Dharma protector of a higher rank. The Tibetan government in exile agrees that taking refuge in Shukden is to belittle the refuge in the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. Drijan Rinpoche, the main teacher of Kyelsan Gyatsa and junior tutor of the 14th Dalai Lama, had a tremendous influence on a whole generation of Tulkus and higher Lamas of the Gelugpa order. He practiced the Shukden tradition and most of the present Gelugpa Lamas who opposed the order of the 14th Dalai Lama to give up on Shukden, do so with reference to Trijan Rinpoche as their teacher. Even the Dalai Lama himself had been practicing Shukden for many, many years. And <laughs> <laughs> Everything changed when the Dalai Lama fled to India in 1959 to escape the Chinese occupation. When the Dalai Lama in 1996 urged Tibetans to end the worship of the Geluk protector deity Dorje Shukden, he intended to strengthen Tibetan unity and promote harmony among the various Tibetan Buddhist schools. But although the majority of Geluk communities sided with the Dalai Lama, others refused to give up the worship of Dorje Shukden. According to the Dalai Lama, there are two reasons why the cult of Dorje Shukden should be stopped. The worship of Shukden as a protector of the pure Gelugpa doctrine creates division. The sole authority and place of refuge for Buddhists should be the Buddha and his teachings alone, not minor deities. Some monks and practitioners refused to accept the Dalai Lama's decision to prohibit the practice of Dorje Shukden. Their disagreement stemmed from the belief that Dorje Shukden had been a protective deity for many centuries. In response, several abbots and monks from Gelugpa monasteries resisted this directive from Tibetan tradition's highest tulku and established the Dorje Shukden Devotees Religion and Charitable Society in New Delhi in July 1996. Monks from a prominent Buddhist monastery, Serengaden, publicly announced their intention to protest against the ban of practicing Dorje Shukden. However, the monastic authorities suppressed any demonstration. Despite this, some monks organized a silent protest, which was considered a violation of their vow of obedience to the monastic authorities. As a result, 11 monks were expelled from Gaden. Tragically, violence occurred on both sides of the conflict. On February 4, 1997, Abbot Gyesha Zangyatso, the director of the Buddhist school of dialectics, and two of his disciples in Dharamsala were murdered. These three Gelugpa monks were known for openly criticizing the worship of Shukden. The NKT itself is not directly impacted by the Dalai Lama's rejection of Shukden. The organization believes it is necessary to protect the Dalai Lama's stance of Shukden due to the reported persecution and suffering experienced by millions of Shukden devotees. These devotees have sought the NKT's assistance in safeguarding their religious tradition from destruction.
There is evidence to suggest that Dorje Shugden practitioners within the Tibetan exile community face social stigma and marginalization. Followers of the new Kadampa tradition have accused the Dalai Lama of being the worst dictator in the modern world, claiming that he restricts religious freedom from prohibiting the practice and worship of Shugden. Can you tell us very clearly how Dorje Shugden practice harm Tibet independent your life and Buddhism? We sent many letters directly him, nothing clear answer. Now, Western people realize he lied. Are Shukden followers sponsored by the Chinese Communist government? The issue of whether Shukden followers are sponsored by the Chinese Communist government is a matter of debate and speculation. It is believed that Beijing sees the Shukden controversy as an opportunity to undermine the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan cause, aligning with China's divide and rule policy. Although the China Communist Party is secular, it exercised tight control over religious practices and has been promoting Dorje Shugen in Tibet under its control. Reports indicate that prominent Shugen lamas have been treated as honored guests by the party, and Shugen activists have received support. Additionally, China has its own appointed Panchen Lama, traditionally the second most influential lama in the Giluk lineage, who plays a significant role in recognition of the next Dalai Lama. Some scholars claim that the young Panchen Lama has been educated by Shukden Lamas chosen by the Chinese government. A former member of the Shukden movement have expressed the belief that the Chinese government uses Shukden followers as a tool to discredit the Dalai Lama, undermine Tibetan Buddhism, and fragment Tibetan society. It is important to note that accuracy of these claims is unclear, and both sides present arguments supporting their respective positions. Is the NKT a cult? Identifying signs of religious cold can be complex and depends on various factors. There are three commonly recognized signs that may indicate the presence of a cult. 1. Authoritarian leadership. The NKT is led by Kjelsan Gyatso, who is regarded by his followers as the third Buddha after Jetson Kappa and the Buddha Shakyamuni. Advanced NKT disciples are taught to view Kjelsan Gyatso as the Buddha who guides their lives. One concern is that Kjelsan Gyatso expects his disciples to see him as the sole legitimate authority qualified to teach Dharma, leaving no room for critical thinking. I don't want to hear I am special, Tibetan, special, Geshe Lama, just humble. I try to remain just humble. If you were to sort of say, well, is Geshe Kelsan really a Buddha? then the, the shock horror waves that that would cause are quite immense because to NKT practitioners, Gessler is indeed a Buddha, an enlightened being. Number two, exclusivity and separation. The NKT followers are limited to reading teaching materials exclusively from Kjelsen Gyatso himself. Former NKT practitioners have noted the group's isolation from the wider Buddhist community. Reading works by other teachers, including the Dalai Lama, was discouraged, creating a sense of guilt or secrecy. Additionally, the NKT doesn't allow teachings from other schools, and the pictures of the Dalai Lama are banned from NKT meditation centers and shrines. Ordained members are asked to take only 10 vows instead of the hundreds typically required in other Buddhist traditions. Uh, people have choice. They will to cover 100%. There is no any rule. People cannot read other books. No one, if you find any single person, Kishi Kassan said, you cannot read other books. I will give you one million pounds, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can. Just, uh, just rumor, you know. We not pay by other books in our level, because it is not public level. It is poor uh, citizens who are uh, program joined. Number three, manipulative influence. There have been reports of manipulative practicing within the NKT. Some ordained individuals struggling with mental illnesses were allegedly encouraged to stop taking their medication and rely solely on spiritual practice for healing. There have also been instances of individuals being pressured to sell their properties and donate the proceeds to the NKT, only to end up paying rent to live in a basement at an NKT center. Former members have highlighted the group's tendency to emphasize special karma and purity while isolating individuals from mainstream Buddhism and alternative perspectives. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of the new Kadampa tradition, Dorje Shukden and the Dalai Lama. We hope you found this exploration of the NKT and its controversies intriguing, uncovering the secrets and shedding light on the hidden connections. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated with our weekly videos.